Rabbi, can yeah. I greet you in the name of Elohim and maybe pose one question? Even two, even two, because you're a nice guy. Rabbi, when I read the Old Testament and I don't have proficiency in Hebrew, little Greek, little Chinese, but there is the notion in the Old Testament throughout the Pentateuch and throughout the major prophets and throughout the minor prophets, all the way from Zechariah, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Abraham, that Elohim, that Yahweh, El Shaddai, is married unto Israel, the apple of his eye, his chosen people. And that as God draws back the chosen people from the other most parts of the world, whether it be Egypt or the four corners of the globe, he seems to do it. One, we know that there have always been wars and thoughts of wars, but secondly, he woos them back. In other words, we have the notion that the hand of God is with the Jewish people. But also, we have the notion of the arm of the flesh. And it doesn't seem to me that God, when he's actually wooing back Israel, uses quite so much of the arm of the flesh, but woos them, even woos them perhaps through conscience or through other issues of ultimacy. Saul of Tarsus pointed out, the hand of God is with me, so I can go forth. Could you please clarify in my mind this notion of the arm of the flesh, which at times seems to countervail the notion of the wooing of Elohim? Sir, I don't know, I don't know which uh, Bible you're reading. <laughs> but I can tell you that throughout my Bible, it says, which means there is a time for war, and a time for peace, there's a time to love, and a time to hate. If in World War II we had not hated the Germans enough, we would have lost the war with all the consequences. You think that we should have perhaps wooed the Germans? Or maybe the arm of flesh was the way, was the way to do it. Hopefully, if your wife or your loved one is ever attacked, I hope you won't pray to God to woo the enemy away. <laughs> had we had a Jewish state in 1936 and 37, six million Jews wouldn't have died. And had we not used the hand in 1948, there would be no Jewish state today. Judaism has a basic concept. Faith in God, trust in God, but you don't just leave it to him. You have to do too. And when you do everything in your power, then he woos you. That's the Jewish way. Yes, next. Ah, finally. Okay. <laughs>